very interesting. I think it's pretty even. Um, Peach obviously wins the punish game because Banjo, as we talked about, does basically no damage. Three damage. Um, everything does like two, and then the big hits do like seven. Uh, Four is essentially yeah. the only thing that does significant damage for Banjo outside of like Wonder Wing and like the big trash attacks and stuff. What is going to be rough for Peach in the matchup is like is Banjo sets up shop. Yes. She doesn't have. Oh, I'm going to burst through it with this. Like, right now? Exactly. Oh, uh, he's shooting eggs at me a platform away. And if he's doing that with a grenade out, it's even worse. Like, Peach really struggles to get the grenade. Counter actually becomes very important in the matchup. Right. Uh, because it's just, it's big enough that it can really threaten the range where Banjo likes to be while he's zoning. Um, and it'll also threaten any time Banjo, like, tries to dash in behind a grenade, even just to zone better. Uh, that'll just kind of stop him from doing that. We're seeing a lot of ledge pressure from Banjo, and if you actually play a good Banjo, you know he's good at that. Yeah. So is Peach, except Banjo has B reverse grenades from ledge. Yeah. No, Banjo definitely has the edge there in terms of ledge trapping. <laughs> also in terms of getting off ledge, let's the up smash take the first dog. Yeah, he's so like, a lot of his kill options are committal, but like, eventually he's getting a call out on your pattern because you keep having to do things against right. Banjo. He's going to get a read on your pattern. That was too bold. Yeah, that's going to cost him a second one. It is. Uh, yeah, it should. Oh, he's dead. No, he's good. Oh, I thought he got hit out of the up piece. We got it back. I forgot that's the thing. <laughs> but still, so, costed him two for it. Uh, got the the funny, the the bird, yeah. the bird ladder. That, uh, the egg ladders are super difficult. Like really hard to learn. You it, also get nine point six damage. I was gonna say you get the same. You get like a uh, third of the damage Mega Man gets for hitting down B. Yes. <laughs> um, it is actually less than that. Um. You can situationally get like three or even four eggs to the platform. Ooh. Um, and now, congrats, you got like 14%. So out of, <laughs> out of Wonder Wing, but again, small comfort with the single lead. Oh, and no punish from Nuggets. There. I don't think he expected it to go in like that. He didn't, but he also had like time to throw the turn up for a little bit Right, there. yeah. <laughs> Just startled. So Trey will take that first stock eventually. Unleashed with a pretty solid lead. Percent lead matters a lot in this matchup. It's not just a stock lead that matters here. Any Banjo matchup, I think. Yeah. This is a character who cares quite a bit about leads. This one not killing? Uh, no. Yeah, no rage. No rage. Uh, next one will kill now. Even sailed once. Uh, Naga's getting hit by every thrown grenade. Yeah. And the random wondering. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes you gotta do it to him. Sometimes you do. Uh, overkill, honestly, at 170. Yeah. <laughs> Back throw would kill from almost mid-screen at that point. That was something we got buffed earlier, was Banjo back throw. Mm. Um, Became a much more legit call throw. And there it is. <laughs> Pinch back. Throw. Yep. You see it a lot because he doesn't have throw combos past like five, basically. He does um, have. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, you, you, you can up throw up air, like super low percents. Like sometimes just like zero to five. Some characters get hit till like 15. Some characters, like maybe Peach, don't get hit at all. Uh, he, it's just kind of a frame trap. He does have one viable burst option. Uh, not like Wonder Wing. But it, that, he got the rare dash attack. So yeah, it's exactly. not bad. It's good, you know, it's kind of a discount DK dash attack. Awful. We'll call it a stitch. <laughs> no, it's gonna cheat to get back. Nuggets moment incoming. <laughs> Un we're tied unleashed up. finding a way to SD with Banjo. <laughs> Rare into it's even now. It is very easy to SD with this character because he has a ton of options, but Wait. like it's also very easy to accidentally just wonder wing into the abyss. <laughs> Because Beer First Grenade is a big part of your offstage game plan. Oh, okay, fair so, enough. So like, you have to be able to like, turn around, like, like wave bounce or Beer First Grenade at any point in time. Who died? Okay, no Not one yet, yet, but it was, it was, it was Peach got hit. <laughs> well, I didn't know if it was the startup still. Because uh, the startup is long. That was like just barely out of it. Yep, yeah, back, back to neutral, but uh, honestly, significantly closer than this game's going to look for targets. I like but the item play there. has to get off ledge. Oh, the so weight does Good it. timing on the roll. Risky option, but called out that Unleash was looking for something right then. But kind of boxed himself in the other corner of the stage. And that back here gonna reach over and not quite kill. But we're gonna see again ledge pressure. At this point, if Unleash can get a grab, he's probably gonna get the stock. Yeah. And that was an opportunity for it. Yep. Beep. Reverse nair? Now, I don't know how that nair hit <laughs> registration works sometimes. Uh, it sends you away from the center of Peach, and if Peach is moving around, it's really hard to tell. Okay. Oh, up smash that, but not accounting for how long the hit detection yeah. lasts. The cheeky side be auto cancel. And that do will it? kill. So okay. very tight game. Very tight game. Uh, unleash. Just gotta not throw away the lead yeah. with banjo. Uh, as we mentioned, 
pretty important for Banjo. It is, yeah. And that was low. Especially considering how long he was living. Like, his, the two times he got killed were low mid hundreds. <laughs> yeah, no, that, like, look, I played Banjo for a long time. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's 1 0. Oh, no, that was game one, wasn't it? Yeah, it's 1 0. Yeah, that was game one. Long games. It's a Banjo. Very long game. It's Peach Banjo. <laughs> Yeah. Crew was like, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be no, back I, to pay like, them. <laughs> look, I love Banjo. Like, I think this character is really cool. I know most people disagree with me. And if I you respect, want to play Wi-Fi, I respect you're right. that he's technical. Uh, he is I'll very technical in in the real world. Um, I play Ganon. Yeah. I don't respect anything else about <laughs> Banjo when I play him. Like, yeah. I so fun story about that. I fought Bunny C, who was this region's probably best Ganon. Back in the was. day. Um, <laughs> yeah. And no. I so I was on losers of a BS of like a weekly here. And I I, I look at Bracket and Matty G has lost round one. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna play Matty G for like 33rd. So my match gets called and it's me and Bunny C. And I'm like, did you beat Matty? He's like and he just like looks at me picking banjo, he's like the size and goes, Yeah, Matty doesn't play his owner. <laughs> and I <chewed. laughs> Uh so we're on FC Someone's here, this is a very yeah. uh, double-edged pick. I think this is like the best stage for both characters. I, th um, I think Nuggets goes here too often. Like this is Nuggets' yes. comfort stage. It is. But your character isn't. <laughs> I think Peach is good here. Uh, I think Banjo is think better here. This I, is also Unleashed's counter pick. I, yeah. Oh, um, so this is gonna oh be that's the, right, Nuggets yeah, won. Yeah, won that game, believe it or not. <laughs> um, this is going to be the Banjo counter pick. I think that the best stage in this matchup is probably Smashville. But there's a good chance that Nuggets bans it. Um, yeah. And this is probably the next best thing for Banjo, even though both Trey and Peach are very good here. Uh, someone in the chat saying Banjo and Grand Absurd, like, kind of. Uh, he did play grind. a lot of Banjo to get here. At least grinded also yeah, the Banjo he, he before Sora very, came very good at this character. The down smash. That is the rarest move you'll see from this character. That didn't kill at all. No, it's a terrible move. Uh, <laughs> that was a good situation to use it. Like, why was, you know, why are the wing down smashes so bad? <laughs> so is Ridley's. It's true, yeah. Like no, you look at you down, look at the down smash is so bad that it's like, and still maybe not his worst move because down air exists, which is just a worse version of every other down air that works like that. Ridley, it's, it's kind about of, the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's close. Yeah, Ridley Dare Schwarbage. <laughs> yeah, Ridley Dead Smash also isn't his worst move. Look at that. Yeah, really tight uh, trap in there. Granted, yeah. there's a lot of spot dodging, yeah. but both these characters like doing that. We're also seeing Nuggets go for more of the Nair jab on shields, because uh, Banjo doesn't have an outer shield option that beats that. Nair is minus three, I think, uh, when it's fresh on the sweet spot. Yeah. Um, and Banjo, fastest out of shield option, is going to be up smash as frame nine. And that's a commitment, and you're, yeah. not, you're not just swinging up smashes against Peach. Exactly. Like that it's, you know, you're only going to really go for a call out with that when it's going to kill. I want to see the uh, technical double bird into up air combo for like 12.5 <laughs> damage. Oh, and the call out works out there. There that's we go. What you see at least both every character he plays yeah. uh, really good at these smash deck calls, and I think that's the reason he sees success with, let's be honest, these mid tiers. Yeah, that's trouble I killing. I think it's a low tier, honestly. You think it's a low tier? <laughs> I don't think Banjo's good. Um, I think we are actually seeing some of his best matchups in uh, as far as relevant characters go. I think he beats Ike. I think he goes about even with Peach. That's why he's picking him, to be um, fair. <laughs> yeah, like it's these are good matchups to play this character. Um, when I was playing Banjo, this is definitely one of the matchups that I was, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Like, we're going to have a good time here. I'm going to, at least. I don't know if my opponent is. Um, Trey's, not, Trey's not mean. He wouldn't say otherwise. Yeah, no. I mean, Trey's also, like, he's experienced in this matchup. I know he struggled with it early on. He got very good at it very fast. He does that a lot with matchup Peach. Kate, also. Not, not the yeah. Kate, but like Steve is what I was thinking there. He does Peach not like Steve. He has had ages. a rough time with the DLC. Um, so has everyone. So has Except everyone. For, like, but apparently, I think Peach got hit by a lot of uh, a lot of the DLC harder than the other top tiers did. Got hit by a lot of swords. Yeah. <laughs> a character who has notably not been great against big disjoints has now had to deal with a lot of like the biggest ones in the history of the series. So Ness also got broad oh, by God, DLC. Yeah. He loses to every yeah. single one. Now fighter pass two. I don't even think he beats Banjo too hard, and that's probably his only winning matchup in the DLC. <laughs> no, he really doesn't. Ban Banjo gets some really cheeky yeah. game setups. Grenades, uh, despite Magnet, still very good in that matchup, and Egg's yeah. very good in that matchup. Because it's, so, it's so fast, like I don't have yeah. time to like position for Magnet. 
What? A atrocious <laughs> DI. <laughs> Hot Trey going like clearly up and away or Trey down also there. forgetting down smash exists yeah. while being hit by down smash. I think that what happened there would have been that um he was trying to like JCFF down like away, so he's in the middle of fast falling away from Banjo. Let me look at the delay stream. That's what, find when us. you're in a Wi-Fi bracket and mom comes home with groceries and demands <laughs> you come help and you're like, mm, so good games! <laughs> I gotta <Yeah>. go. <laughs> yeah, he was fast falling away. Okay. So like just caught up at the worst possible time. Yeah, someone in chat yeah. saying uh, Banjo may be the worst character who could still theoretically hit good results. I yeah, really agree with that. I can put him in that tier. This character, like, you can play him if you really want to. He's incredibly difficult. The reward is mediocre. But he's not a low tier. He's an okay character. He's weird because, like, as you saw, he's a very, like, technically difficult. Yeah. But he has two masher buttons for yes. callouts. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Like, Wonder Wing is designed to be cheesy. Wonder they Wing limited its usage yeah. because it's cheesy. F Smash, very strong in the right situation. Yeah. Very big, too. And not super slow. Like, frame 16, pretty good for an F Smash. A giant Ike F Smash, honestly. Yeah. The bird not being good is a blessed legendary sword. A little. Yeah. <laughs> ah, parry into has my favorite parry animation in the game. Oh. Uh, the big flex. Uh, between that one and Puff, which just kind of activates. I like Steve. That was big. That was huge. Yep, so there we go. Unleash has seen that uh, Nuggets have been mashing at a disadvantage like that. And especially when Peach has their float, most of the time what Peach players want to do is they want to double jump and then fast fall with an aerial. Uh, and like... Banjo has some ways to call that out. We saw the grenades to call that out. But that time we're still on these be like, alright, you're gonna mash here. I'm gonna kill you. That was a really good grenade out of it was. Like, the fair situation. Yeah. Yeah, you're also seeing like Nuggets isn't getting the ledge traps. Uh, we need yeah. to see And again, it's hard. He has to overly respect a uh, grenade from ledge. Yeah, grenade from ledge, truly one of the best get off ledge options of the entire game. Yeah. Like the only matchups that are like really, really difficult for Banjo uh, are the ones where, Fish. like, they can deal with it super easily. Something Fish. like Fox or Falco, where they Villager, find it back at you. Just a tree Villager. Tree. Villager's yeah. is worse matchup, I think. <laughs> um, oh, CSS, well. where they're just kind of, like, moving up and away from you. You know, he's significantly higher tiered or Villager. Yes, what? exactly. That, he was standing in the jab! It didn't hit! <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's like the reverse of Kirby jab, where I'm, like, <laughs> two Kirbys away, and the finisher hits me. Yeah, no, Banjo doesn't have much of a finisher hitbox. It kind of does the same thing. <laughs> the middle hits of Banjo's hit there. Duck Hunt gotta teach that bird how to have hitboxes. <laughs> Duck Hunt job, one of the craziest jobs in the game. He um, actually needs it. The most overused He does phrase. absolutely need it. Um, I, lost this, I lost a game in Bracket once because Duck Hunt job just beat uh, Tough Guy armor. Like, I just couldn't Tough Guy it. I was like, well, I knew this matchup was bad. Didn't know it was this bad. <laughs> I can't believe I'm playing a losing match with Duck Hunt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a good float. That's like when you used to see Armada do right at the height yeah. outside of anything threatening. It's but something really important to practice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, practice like being right at that exact time, like exact spacing rather, per matchup, where like they can't quite threaten you. Oh, that is big damage for Banjo. 25%. Huge. Um, <laughs> one Wonder Wing. Yeah. <laughs> And did pulling it. out of the job, at that point you just kind of go for job three, because then like even if it misses, you're fine. That move sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how bad that move is. I'm playing yeah, Ganon. Terrible. I'm not in jab range, I'll be honest, folks. Yeah, if, if I have to jab against Ganon, like, I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, like, he just gave up. He's too much, there's too much respect. He just gave yeah, up the it's, whole ledge trap. too much respect, but it's also like, he hasn't gotten much. Oh, there it is. There's the yeah. call. But that time the grenade was already at center stage, so he had missed the uh, he had missed the window to like grenade out of that because there was a grenade already on screen out of play, and those like those two seconds or so where you've got the grenade away, it's two and a half second fuse overall. Um, that is really difficult for Banjo to deal with because they've lost now their best disadvantage option. I realized I misfired when I said Nugget should be picking this stage last time, but now I'm right. Yes. Nugget should pick to go back yeah, here. Yeah, he picked to go back here. We're gonna need to see a big. Uh, pressure state here for Peach. And he puts it inside state. I mean, I get it. Uh, you don't want to overcommit against Wonder Wing. You don't want to overcommit against Grenade, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of overcommit. Trading a little more reactive, that is good. Yeah. Um, Banjo, like, one of the things that Wonder Wing preys on, obviously, those of you who are used to Wi Fi, Wonder Wing preys on everything. Wonder Wing um, preys on you getting tired. Yes, exactly. <laughs> 
Uh, it does do that, but another big thing that it does in, in you know, offline play is that it catches people autopiloting really hard. And it's uh, one of the hardest punishes, that's a really unfortunate us to you. Yeah. Uh, but it's one of the hardest punishes that any character has in the game to just catch someone autopiloting too much. It's easily the best punish at the not on the heavy. Yes, absolutely. Because and it's, um, it's really realistic for Banjo because you're going to at some point fall into an autopilot. Not just like, oh, we slow, but like, you keep throwing these lemons out and it's they're not doing a lot of damage. Right. So you're going to be they're gonna be in that situation a lot. So it's like a lot when I see them getting like really punishing ones yeah. are when they're calling out, you're like, what are you doing about X in neutral two or three games <laughs> in when they've seen exactly. you do it a lot. And also it's a big part of it is because the risk reward in neutral for the opponent, no matter who they are, is heavily in their favor most of the time. And Banjo makes up for that by having a very strong neutral so that he can have this sort of low risk, low reward game plan and use it consistently. Another rough Wonder Wing going to cost That was questionable, yeah. yeah. And that's a worse time to lose too, right at the yeah. start. Because I, even that close to the ledge, I don't think he's dying at 40. It is nice, though, in this matchup, though, that he doesn't have to uh, use it to recover all the time. That's uh, true. He's not the best at edge guarding Banjo. Uh, there are some matchups, you know, if you're fighting, like, Meta Knight, something like that, you need your, like, you have five recoveries. Like, ah. you get five recoveries per stock. If they happen to hit Meta Knight, awesome. Nair and Tornado um, that bad for him? What? Nair and Tornado that rough for Banjo? Yeah, it's like, you basically have to Wonder Wing if, he's, if you're going to go other than going low. So, like... In a matchup like this, it matters a lot less because, like, Peach does not have the best ways to just kill Banjo outright. No. No, and especially that's what we've noticed Trey struggle with. Like, he yeah. hasn't gotten... He's barely gotten, like... I don't want to say reasonable, but, like... Uh, Smash Ultimate median kill percent. Like, yes. we're killing mid-hundreds pretty consistently. Oh, nice up smash. So that, uh, that option catches the uh, option of, like, float away if he doesn't yeah. running like that, but it also just caught Nuggets trying to dash back. He's just so slow. It's fast for a multi-hit up smash, It is, honestly. frame nine. Yeah. And uh, because it's multi-hit, option. it's like pseudo lingering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really strong anti-air out of shield option. Good move all around. Good like, check move, because again, really you're going to be getting a lot of habits. I think that was more of a habit punish. Yeah. yeah I tried to nair jab. Nair said no. Yeah. Yeah, I think, that, like, a big part of playing this character well is, like, having a really solid, like, Layer one, like, this is my neutral, this is how things are going to be set up, you have to deal with it. But inevitably, most characters can find a way around that, and then when you have to really prove yourself with this character, is when you have to change that up and, like, use his tools to make hard callouts that you otherwise wouldn't go for in, like, a neutral state. I'd say the most important, other than patience, for ban playing Banjo, is adaptation. Yes. You have to actually understand what to be looking for and when. Yeah, because you have you have a lot of moves that are, like, designed as hard callouts. We talked about F Smash and Wonder Wing. Uh, but you also have these moves that are kind of, like, medium level callouts that like the up smash you can dash up up smash to beat certain things you can up smash out of shield on things that are not minus nine because you can beat people who are like not going to block up with an aerial stuff like that and just like run up grab sometimes and yeah and he gets good reward off of grab you know the grab like down throw has good follow-ups that basically any percent after like super early percents because you can get like nair for damage and just throwing uh, people away from and you yeah forward throw nice. back throw really yeah. useful setting up people off stage always really strong be like, I want stage now. Cool, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> that was, I think, an up tilt startup? It was, I think, an up smash. It was one of those. Oh, yeah. They looked pretty similar. He, like, similar. crouched down looked yeah. like he was going to bounce back It's hard off. to tell if he's going to lift the uh, the foot or the bird up. Yeah, so, like, again, right at 100. Ex yeah. Excel, sorry. Unleashed is finding these kills. Banjo's at 190. Yeah. This is, like, Banjo is, this is really where Banjo thrives. Especially in this matchup. Like, uh, Trey has also not used counter a single time. Uh, oh. Yeah, but I think like, Peach has that. You could definitely use against Grenade in this matchup. Um, he does yeah, get the kill there. Toad projectile, huge. It's so scary. Makes Blizzard look really like a joke. Nice spacing, actually, landing with that X. Second dare, not great option. Uh, just tends too high, so it fell out. And right there, we see that. That is really important for Trey. He needs to be able to get that dash attack call out on it Grenade. Because now you've just dash attacked Banjo. The grenade's not going to explode anytime soon. And Banjo's in a terrible spot. If Peach counters uh, Wonder Wing, obviously she won't hit him because he's invincible, but does she have time to punish? Um, not usually. All right. Because if it's early on, it's too she's too slow to get over there. True. And if she's if it's later, Banjo's out of black. Almost living. slightly stale fair, uh, but this is a huge stock from Nuggets. Nuggets really finally turned yeah. it up on his aggression. And 
Nuggets famously is so strong at adaptation Fresh in bear. Fi finally, early yep. kill. <laughs> yeah, so that will do it for game four. Uh, going to game five. All right. So first set, Nuggets trying to win this. Unleashed trying to bring us to another set. If um, we get 10 games of Banjo Peach, I'll be the only one who's happy. I just, <laughs> I'm just really want them to get off FD. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they will. These are there's like these are two characters FD and players enthusiast. who love it. We're thinking about it though. Okay, PS2 for game five. Thank, thank you. Okay. I understand the hesitation. So on the one hand, do I want to give a zone or more his range? Right. On the, on yeah. the, on the, on the, on the right hand, the other other hand. I don't know. I lost the analogy here. <laughs> um, point B. His projectiles only have so much range for once. Yeah. Yeah. The it's like, with, you know, it's like only with has big range once you have established that you can like do the tech of yeah. like catching instant throwing yeah. off like, every situation. Yeah. It's like, oh, my mid range zoning is really good for Robin. My yeah. long range zoning, garbage. Yeah. <laughs> and Banjo, even smaller range, yeah. but really dominant within his range if you let him get set up. Yeah. Very honest, similar to Robin in some aspects. He has a lot of overlap with him for sure. Mid range zoner loves it for you to <laughs> be, be losing yeah. currently. The different, the biggest difference though, Robin hurts. Robin oh, wow. hurts, and Robin's anti airs are nuts. Yeah. Usually you're gonna need to jump in versus Banjo. He's doing everything to stop it. Yeah. You. And he hey. has tools to stop it, but not like Eleven Sword. Yeah, I don't think that side B was right. From <laughs> yeah, I don't think that hit. <laughs> the hit detection lasts like it's like 20, 21 frames or like that. Uh, it is well beyond what it looks like. Spot nice dodging the dodge. Nuggets F smash in his. <laughs> At Ooh, Unleash missing the pickup on the yeah. grenade there. Uh, I was gonna say, a rare miss here from Banjo to miss his dumb grenade. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you do that with Snake, and you're like, I swear I'm not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good counterplay there. Jab stuffs up the dash attack as Nuggets catches the grenade. Oh, down for fair, yeah. Down for fair, almost true. Not quite, but like hard to avoid for bigger characters. On DI out. And DI in, you get down throw up and you die. Yeah. Uh, good thing Unleash corrected his DI before he, yeah. uh, on the fair hit. Uh, if he's holding out, he'd be dead. Let's see, yeah, again, it's gonna really come down to somehow oh, Nuggets has to be getting. He probably got a better punish, huh? Nuggets has to be getting kills at a lower percent. Because he's not getting these ledge traps. Not, he's not even really going for them unless he had that you know, that specific situation where the grenade was mid screen. He went, got one last yeah. game, but like that's about it. You're not gonna be getting much opportunities of Banjo flubbing his very good ledge trap. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that. Nug and I as long as he can do that input consistently, Banjo is the hardest character to ledge trap for most of the cast. And I can, I was saying, I can respect Nuggets. Like, he pressured it, but then was like, eh, I don't like yeah. the look. And good dash attack, not quite gonna kill. No. All of those dash attacks fake. Did he uh, DK Banjo? Yeah. He'll be like, oh, I might kill now. No. But that will. <laughs> okay, that's honestly really important my, for. My biggest problem with Unleash's Banjo in this set and in this tournament so far is his uh, play versus legend tangibility, or respawn intangibility. Yeah. You want to know? He has not gone to ledge a single time. Uh, he's really just tried to like, use Banjo's very mediocre movement to jump around all the time. <laughs> and it's not working very well. But he's got an extra air jump. Come on. He sure does, and it does technically move upwards. Um, you want to know a fun. Uh, old, so this is probably outdated. You want to know a fun stat, though? <laughs> Melee Ganons get 40% of their kills in brackets while they're invincible. <laughs> <laughs> so again, again, old stat, but very but funny. still roughly true. I think it was 2015 or 16. That's they, were like, they were like three tournaments. They were like, yeah. That was huge. The grenade going to do more damage. Even though he doesn't get the kill there, that's huge for Unleash to establish that. Uh, I, I thought he gave him that yeah. bear. <laughs> I was going to be mad. I was like, you all have played two good peaches now for years. <laughs> Why are you giving them down throws? Why are you DI'ing Ganon down throws so I never get a combo? <laughs> but giving Nuggets more. Yeah, the thing with Peach down throw is that like the correct DI varies wildly on percent and Rage. That's a good call up with the up smash. I get, yeah, at least very comfortable with his call up there. And it's not like, what are you going to do with Nuggets to adapt? Stop jumping? <laughs> yeah. It's a bad character. Hey, Peach, you have yeah. to do like, <laughs> You lose the ground game in this matchup, especially if you don't counter. I think Nugget's where I want that move too. Yeah, it's really uh, strong against like a pro like gun mode, especially because like what's the mix-up? Like he's in gun mode, he can't just yes, leave he has to, instantly. He has to un un gun mode. Un yeah, I was gonna say like uncock his bird or whatever that works. Because <laughs> <Like a, laughs> he operates like a pump action shotgun. Yeah, so <laughs> she just becomes a gun, and then like. That's how it works in the game. Like, yeah. she just yeah. turns into a gun and then turns back into a bird. Uh, 
Nugget's world's biggest believer in Double Dare. <laughs> More so than Dare believes in Double yes, Dare at this, this point. <laughs> uh, definitely could have gone into like Nair or maybe Falling Up Air there. You know what we're due for? We're due for Nugget's bomb. We are. We haven't gotten one yet. A couple of stitches, a couple of dot eyes, but no bombs. As we need it most. I got a ramen bracket today, but I got it while KOM was invincible. So I just like <laughs> ran off stage, like no up <laughs> uh, I'm out. Okay, so good finish there. No, uh, he's potentially one hit away from ending this tournament. I, he didn't think he was going to land on the uh, platform. Because yeah. that would have been just a fair. Up smash would have done it, yeah. Oh, up smash. Yeah, that's a better idea. <laughs> oh, grenade with back air. Crazy move. Not... Yeah, I, I think that's a good use for Underwake. Nice! That was really well done by Unleash. Not gonna kill, but gets him back to ledge. And now he gets the ledge trap. Still has much. one or two more Wonder Wings, too. Two, I believe. Back here is gonna be a kill? Yes, wow. What a finish. Alright, we're done. So, yeah, that's gonna do it. Nuggets takes a very tight Game 5 set. Uh, two very tight Game 5 sets over Unleashed. Alright. Gets the, uh, the win over the Sora and winners over the Banjo and Grands. Um, and yeah, really well played though by the Unleashed Banjo. It's, I'm really glad to see that again. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen a Banjo here in such a long time. He was playing well. Uh, yeah, no, I, I love this character when he's played well. I think he's just such an interesting, like, weird character. Those last two games, Nuggets, like that one was the up smash call he could be yeah. hit by. He finally punished. Yeah. So I think Nugget, Nuggets took a, it took Nuggets a little bit to adapt to the situations he needed to adapt to, but yeah. got it in time. He did it. He did it just in time to send us home early, make yeah. us not have to sit through five more games, because you know it was going game five if it was a reset. Uh, I mean, 